What's up, YouTube? Let's get this recorded before I lose any more light. So listen, guys, you know, I don't like being in front of the camera too often, but I want to do a true part one of this install for the Lorex 4K cameras. So if you're like me, you want the Costco's, you got this whole system for um, Costco's, maybe you got it on sale, maybe you're thinking about getting it. This is part one of the install. Now, we're in my house right now where I'm moving to, so I'm dressed like a bum, just so FYI, just so I can kind of lay out everything for you guys. I feel like my part one unboxing, I got a lot of dislikes for that video, probably because you really couldn't see what you needed to see, and you probably didn't get all the details you needed to know. So let's just run through it. Um, this is probably what you're going to need if you're going to do this install. I was able to get, um, then they call it fish tape or steel tape from one of my friends. So this is gonna help me be able to run the wire through the wall, if need be. Um, obviously, you're gonna need a drill. Obviously, you're gonna need a flashlight. I am gonna show you guys my attic here in a second to kind of give you an idea of where I'm placing these cameras at. Uh, these are the six bundles I was talking about that came with the camera. I actually unwound one. It doesn't really tell you on the box how long they are. I'm guessing they're 50 foot. This is my experience with ethernet cords. I'm guessing they're 50 foot. But um, I think it's about what I need for my house. So I wanted to go over real quick, one more time, the camera situation here. Let's see, make sure I got you guys in focus here. So right here, the Lorex camera, it has these two wires that come off of it. The red one is power, I'm assuming, I'm no expert. And the blue one is that. So let's follow this cord. So that, that's a 50 foot cord plugged into the camera. So let's say for example, this camera is drilled outside of my home. This cord, which is 50 foot long, is gonna run, run, run all the way through my attic to where I wanted to be at until it comes out of the wall until I plug into the back of the DVR. Okay. So this is the back of the DVR. So you got your power, you got the data. And excuse the echo, guys, this is an empty house, so I'm still moving, you're gonna hear echo. Um, but what I had to find out was that obviously one plugs into the back of the DVR. I thought the power went right there. That's what this attachment is for that comes with the box. I'm like, okay, there's two of these. I have six cameras, interesting. So I plug that into that camera and I plug this into here. And I plug this whole unit into the wall. So that's what's gonna power the cameras. So this is an eight camera system and it comes with six. So I can put, you know, there's four spots here and there's four in another wire. So that is like real clearly how you can see that. Um, and then obviously this is gonna be needed be near a power outlet, so you can plug in two of these. Um, also for this. I went ahead and bought, now don't get me wrong guys, don't buy this, this monitor, cause this is actually like, I'm actually planning on building a computer here soon. So this is a, a pretty nice monitor. This is a Z23 HP monitor. As I said with this system, you need to have a monitor to use the system. You can't just plug it up and think it's gonna play. So I did go ahead and buy a monitor. The cool thing about this monitor, if you are interested, is that it does have HDMI, in VGA on the bottom, so it has both. So what I'm hoping is that once I get this all set up with my new computer that I'm gonna build, that I can have the, the cameras going to this monitor and I can also have uh, the monitor going to my computer. So as I said, the camera, I mean, the, the system does come with HDMI. So if you had a, like a flat screen TV, you could go directly to HDMI but it also comes with um, the mouse, as I said before, so you can click and click what you gotta be, do. It looks like it doesn't come with the VGA cable, but I have the VGA cable that comes with the monitor. So that goes from the monitor to the system. Uh, let's see here. You know me, guys, I like to do one shot as much as I can. Um, back over here, 
Again, we have the camera. I only took one out, obviously, just for demonstration. These are the screw holes. I'm gonna line that up. These are, you know, the things that you drill into the wall. And here are my other five cameras. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys an idea of where I'm placing these cameras. Okay, guys. So now we're in my attic. As you can see, my insulation is nothing pretty, but this is what I'm gonna have to be crawling around with when I get this insulation going. My buddy's actually coming up this weekend. It's gonna help me out. Um, but to give you guys an idea, you see that far corner over there? That's gonna be one placement of the camera. So yes, I'm gonna crawl all the way over there to the very end. We're gonna drill a hole from the outside into the attic, put the fish wire in there to mark where that hole is at, and then run that wire right across here in a nice, neat fashion. And somewhere around here is the closet to the, the office. So my buddy had a good idea was just drill a hole in that closet straight up, stick a coat hanger there to know where that hole is at, and then I'll be able to see where that coat hanger is. And just by doing that, run that cord across there, plugging it into there, that's really it. I mean, that's, that's it, you know, plug everything up, make sure there's power, you're good to go. So, you know, wired, I'm having fun with figuring out how to do it. I know wireless looks sleek and sexy and easy, but once you do wire, you plug it up, no charging batteries, you're, you're good to go. Man, without getting too technical is, this is gonna be my office. And right up here is the closet. I'm going to run my wires down. I'm just gonna drill a hole in the top of the closet and my wires, it's gonna be exposed wires. I'm not running anything in the drywall. It's gonna be exposed wires coming out and I'm guessing the unit's gonna be on some type of desk here or mounted some type of way here for everything to plug into. That's how I'm gonna run my wires. Like I said, this is just, I'll give you an idea. This is just my office. Um, so in this room, this is where everything's gonna be centrally located. All right, also wanted to show one nice thing about my house, and hopefully you have the same thing, they're similar, is I have a pretty substantial, uh, I think it's called a suffet, uh, when your roof runs over the edge that goes all around the house. So the beautiful thing is my cameras, this is just one location where they're gonna go. Obviously, for security reasons, I'm not gonna show you all my locations, but this is one that I'm probably gonna drill into there it's gonna go straight into the attic. As you can see, it is actually raining right now. So, you know, I'm not gonna really have to wear, I mean, they're water protected cameras or, you know, waterproof or whatever you call it, um, weatherproof cameras and cording. But I'm not gonna have to worry too much about moisture. And really, once I get up there, move that suffet panel and drill light into the roof, I mean, into the attic, you know, we'll see how that goes. But, uh. This is part one, guys. Hey guys, stay tuned for the next video. Real quick, I wanted to show you, let's say you had a camera system in your house. This is kind of an idea where you wanna place them if you had a perfectly squared house to show, this shows where the camera's actually gonna see. Now, obviously this isn't my house, but this just gives you a general idea. So stay tuned, this is part one. Uh, part two is coming soon. We're actually gonna be installing cameras on Saturday. So stay tuned for part two.